Oh, hello. Welcome to episode 3 of Hogwarts Legacy. I'm Anna Banana, and we're getting started. Just give me a moment. Let me know how your day is going in the meantime. <laughs> JT's here. <laughs> okay, so if you ever play this game, I'm gonna give you a helpful tip. I also learned it from other people um, who played the game, um, so I can't really take the credit. Um, so you reveal the puzzle, and basically, the outer numbers around the number in the middle um, add up. So you have to kind of figure out what the out the last outer number is. So, um, so the last number here, the the question mark will be two, um, and then each of these symbols on the outside represent a number. Um, the owl here starts at zero, and each number around goes up by one. Um, so. We have to roll these fancy dice. Um, and so this owl is zero, the unicorn's one, this other weird animal thing is two. Um, that's the one that we need to solve this first one. And then let's see, we have 12 for the second one. So we have four plus five. So let's see here. I'll need seven. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need this weird like octopus looking like it's walking on its arms type thing. I don't even know what you would call that. But um we're gonna go ahead and roll it over here. Um and you definitely wanna solve these because they have some nicer gear and things in here that you want. Although the scare isn't, uh, and then you get some collection type things. Ooh, there's stuff behind that door. Can't wait till I can unlock certain things. Um, so yeah, that's how you solve those. Um, definitely worth looking into if you're playing the game. Hi, Anthony. All right, now we're off to our charms class. Let's see if we can just um, let's just see if we can teleport there. If only you could teleport in real life. That would just make things so much easier, right? Oh, it just brought me back here. Well, what in the world? I guess we're just gonna have to walk. That was a waste. How, how, <laughs> definitely deja vu there. Definitely thought they were gonna bring me um closer. Whoop. Up this way. 
Okay. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had offered. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Okay. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Ooh, I can't see that with the um where my camera's at. Hold on a second. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Hold on, we gotta move the camera just a smidge here. We'll try moving it there. See if it somehow I I still was able to pass that, but I. Don't know how I did that. Okay, let's assign Expelliarmus. Ooh, it's in the red color. Oh, but now I can't see that. Hmm. Um, I don't think that should be too big of a deal. Um, where should we put this? In the most spot. Okay. I think we practice, maybe. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Okay. Just waiting for it to recharge here. There we go. Still at it, I see. Okay. Now what do I do? Um, quest. Yeah. Let's, um, hold on one second. Okay. Hmm. I'm supposed to maybe go up here? Oh no. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? Oh. Actually, perhaps another time. Hmm. Perhaps. Good to see you think things through. Never mind. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here now. Hmm. Okay. Now, I think I have to find those missing book pages. Tell Professor Pig about the map chamber. Tell me to pages. Hmm. Okay. Ah, this is where we find the missing pages are here. So this is where we gotta go. Okay. Let's, um, track this quest. And I think we can even travel a bit here. 
Um, yeah. Cool. Now that I learned Expelliarmus, I think I can do this one. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I want my invisibility option here. Just in case. I feel like I need the invisibility in this Forbidden Forest. There's something bad right there, but I don't know what it is. Ooh, what's over there? Some money. What else will you find? Random stuff. Okay. Let's keep moving. Okay, I'll wait here. Here I am, as good as my word. Okay. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. <laughs> now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a bird bath. When you find a bird it, bath. Say, Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? <laughs> okay. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall. And, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. I feel like since he's invisible, it's only fair that I'm invisible too. I suppose he's not invisible, but transparent. I know. <laughs> he looks very like, uh, what Surprising do you call that? How much of this is Jerky. Rather unfortunately <laughs> coming back to me. I don't know what's going on with the movements going on. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Okay. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Okay, is this where I gotta go? Yeah. You would put it right over the red. Oh. Nothing to do now but keep going. Oh, move it yet? Okay. It's not really a good spot to... Where should I put it? Here? Okay. Sorry, we're trying to figure out the best spot to put the... the camera display. Oh, good. There's lots of death signs. I feel like this is going to go very well. Okay. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Oh. 
Oh wait, now it's saying to go a different way. It's saying to go in here. This is definitely creepy. I like the way the lake lo looks. That's nice. Something's like stomping around. Something I oddly hear. solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Oh, it's a it's a deer. Okay, maybe that's what I heard too. Just as Jackdaw described. How oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Okay. Revelia. Is there anything uh I can find first before I just Ooh, it's just oh just more of those caps. Showed something. Oh, these little leech things. I don't know what these are good for yet. I suppose I'll find out, right? Okay, let's whisper the password. Eee! Eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. That was that impressive. I give up. Oh, I was still fighting even after they were gone. <laughs> Intensity. Alright, anything else I can pick up? It doesn't. Oh, there's something over here. What's this? Okay. Oh, it looks like there's something up there too. Okay, let's go in. Here we go. I'm gonna enter invisible. If it lets me. Rebellion. I wonder how big this place is. Ooh, nice. It's giving me these things. Need these for health potions. Anything up here worth getting? to do with opening this door. Okay.
Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Hmm. I do not like spiders. You you stay away from me. Ah, oh, there's spiders right there. I do not want to crawl through that. No. I'm gonna have to though, aren't I? Um, let's look over here first and then I'll go over there. Oh, but I gotta go over. <sighs> Fine. Incendio. Aren't these ones gonna get me though? Spiders, I should have grabbed that. Those magic things don't last long. I he still hear spiders. Oh my gosh, that's just the drippage. Ugh, I do not like spiders. I'm totally like Ron Weasley when it comes to spiders. Ooh, it's a good chest though. Yes, I get to fix my hat here. We're going to change this hat right now. JT hates this hat. Oh, can you not change the hat? I don't think it'll let me change it right now. Nope. Oh, I get to have a circus hat for a little bit. <laughs> a little longer. He, does, he calls it a circus hat. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad I crawled through that even though I had to face... A little bit of a fear there. Ugh. What's over here? There's so many choices of where to go in this cave. I wonder if I can move that platform somehow. <gasps> oh! God, dude. Stop. Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna need a different spell here. If 
spiders. Spiders, where are you? I'm just like anticipating that things are just gonna come out. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Revelio. Okay. Solve this, so can I. <laughs> they are scaring me today with these spiders. <laughs> oh. Okay. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Ah, there it is. I hear them. I am not a fan of this one. Okay. Yeah, where are you, spider? <gasps> Next to me. Oh my god. Um, there's a bunch of dead spiders. Should I be scared that there's something really big? Revelio. Okay. I um, don't know if I should go up over here. If I'm able to even go up over here. I think I gotta go back around. I think that might be too big of a drop, I'm not sure. I don't like going back, because they seem to, uh, drop the spiders whenever I t go back places. So I'll stay here. There's a little crack in a wall here. Revelio. Huh. Whew, it's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there.
Or do I? There's a spot over here too. I don't. Maybe I should see what's over here first. skeleton in sight but I may as well help myself to this oh wow there's a lot of um babies over here um I don't know if I should go in here yet let's go back to the other spot first and then we'll come back to this Oh, yeah. I don't know if that would do anything. That's odd. I'd have thought Jack Daw would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him. wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Yeah, I imagine I'll have to go to the egg room, but I'm just not ready yet. <laughs> okay. Whatever okay, that sound is. Where I came from. Okay. I feel like I should go up here. Candles up there and stuff. Huh. Okay. I 
not a headless skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. Hmm. Okay. Well, now I think I have to somehow go back here. And just where I came from, I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. Go next. Wig and wild potion. Missed that. Checking here. There was a room. Was it? it was one of the one of these had nope. 
trying to see. Just over there. One of these had a bunch of eggs in it. I'm just not sure. I think it's this area. Yeah. I don't know, maybe they're not supposed to go in there. I don't know. Do I dare go in there? I mean, what happens? Like, if you get all the way through this, like, thing. Oh, there's just like an area back here? Oh, I see. Wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Like how oh, it's that random spider sound. Okay. That's odd. I'd have thought Jack Dor would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him. Okay. All right. Well, let's keep heading. Um. See, I keep getting turned around on this place. Um, they're like waiting. Okay. Okay, where do I go? Like I already picked that up, but okay. All right, can't go around that way anymore. There's 
no platform over here. Here's the platform. Okay. Now. We're gonna try getting closer with the platform system. Looks like it's working. I just don't know. I feel like I got stuck somewhere. Ninety meters. Let's see if where I don't know where to go. Hmm. Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out where to go here. Maybe I gotta get down. There's a lot of spiders crawling everywhere. There it is. Ah. Rich, it's almost okay. complete. Okay. Hi, Cory. More spiders. He's haunting what the head of it. What is this? Oh boy. Whoa. Okay. I don't know what that one's for. I'll need to look around for the symbol. Did I get all three? In time or no? I must not have. There we go. Here we 
go. Revelio. I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains. And those pages. Looks like there's some pretty big knights up ahead. Look at that. You meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Uh-huh. No, I don't know. I was gonna say, those are some pretty big knights. Hi, kitty. Uh-oh. Where's the other one? I'm gonna grab everything that I can here. I did not see myself defeat the other night, so it must have just happened real quick. Ooh. It's making those little like wisp things. Rebellion. Anything else that I can? I've seen this before. In Ringo's unrestricted section. Okay. Where am I? <laughs> the room is starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Oh. That's so cool. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What 
What is this place? Whoa. I wonder what all the portraits are for. Oh! Can it be? Alright, let's go speak to the portrait. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I might improve my stealth. Ooh, I have, oh, I have 12 talent points available. Wow. Okay. What does this do? Oh, I see. You have certain levels that... Okay. Okay. Um... Oh, you can sprint while you're undetected. I like that. Okay, let's do some other ones. Oh, a new spell is added. A new spell set. Um, I think I might want that for sure. So why don't we... Can I do this one too? Because I think then I can add like a bunch of, um,
All right, bye, Corey. Sorry, guys. I know I'm taking some time on this. Well, I don't have enough spells yet, so I think I will stick with two, but we will get there. Um, okay. Let's see. That's the dark art. You stupefy. And what is this one? Hmm. Okay. Incendio Mastery. Accio Mastery. Levioso Mastery. I got you. So you can kind of... I like the idea of Incendio Mastery. And I like the idea of stupefy. Yeah. And what is the room of requirement here? This fills up my ancient magic meter, so I'll go ahead and add that. Let's see what else in spells. Maybe we can add another. Accio or Leviosa? Maybe Leviosa, I feel, might be better. Okay, we spelled or used all our talent points. Now, anything to grab here? It doesn't look like it. Let's keep going. Been waiting for that uh, tab to open up. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Okay. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, so there's new quest. Sorry, I'm gonna go back. New quest. Flying class! Alright, we're gonna go to flying class, I guess, in the meantime. Um, locate that map. Cool, because that means hopefully we'll be able to fly places then. Um, okay, it doesn't look like we can just... You need to learn to pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Okay. I guess there's another class I can attend too. My guess is I'll have to wait till morning. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or incorporated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. All right, here we go. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Wish I had my own broom. Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What have you... Hello. Nice day for a flight. Brilliant. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Oh, our aquatic 
president likes to make an appearance once in a while. Oopsies. Oh, well done. Have a moment. <laughs> the flying now. Okay. Oh, well done. Okay. Okay. There we go. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Okay. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Okay. The tour is about to begin. Follow Where? closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Okay, L2. Okay. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? <laughs> The famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plenty of standard jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. And hand in our rooms. Dismount here. Whoop. <laughs> and where have you two been? Uh oh. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Give me my points back. Yay. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Okay. Nice. Right. Okay, that was a fun little class. Um, Revelio. Anything to... 
discover out here. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. There you are. The cross ones, Junis. I want to change my gear quick. All right. Let's see. Huh. What is that one? Interesting. All right. She's got her new clothes on. Definitely like that hat much better. Okay, um, we got another class, or quest to do. Um, meet Professor Weasley in the 7th floor of Corridor. And what requirement? And Professor Sharp's assignment. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire Maxima and Drew's potions. Use them simultaneously. Um, but it looks like the main quests are these, so let's go ahead and do this one first. Travel point there. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Okay. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. 
I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. There we go. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Um. Let's see, Evanesco. Huh. I wonder why you can't. Interesting. Still says I can't use those for. Huh. I'll figure that out later. I suppose. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Revenia. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness! My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. <laughs> I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Keep it down? Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Rebellion. Get up there. Actually, ah, there we go. To go to uh, Hogsmeade in a little bit to sell some things. Um, hold on one second, though. I wonder if I can just. Hate to destroy something, but. Let's just see what. Um... I collect here. Oop. I want to try to get whatever is up there. Ah, I don't know why I'm going to be able to get that. That's okay. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. 
Intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Anyway... That's pretty. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? <laughs> Whoa. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. Oh, I see. How oh, do I gotta pull it out more? Hold on. Oh, it won't let me, uh... There we go. Let's see if I, uh... from here. I don't know how to get there there. Maybe if I go around somehow. I hope that Hell Self can find us in here. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea how to get in there. Oh, there he is. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest.
You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. It will be an invaluable resource. Okay. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Um. Here we go. Okay. Uh, hey, I suppose does it have to be? Whoops. Okay, I suppose just there. Ooh, I can change the color. Hmm. Let's do blue. Okay. Now, what do I need to do? Conjure potting table. Or is this a... Decorated table. Tables. Okay, and what about, it says seating. Huh. 
Potion Station. Is that mm, hmm? Small botanical potion station. Hmm. Why don't we do? Why don't we do it over here? Okay. Okay, and then I did not do Ah. Here's what I needed to do. Okay. Um Where do I want to put this? I suppose it doesn't matter. Sure, we'll put it... Like, right... There! You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hotspeed or outside the castle grounds. Okay. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Okay. Cool. Dittany, Mouse Sweet, Her Girl Son Dittany. We need Dittany and Leaves, so that would be perfect. Um, I think we'll set up some more. Hold on, um... Um... Oh, I got you, that's how you rotate it, okay. Ooh, you can change how it looks. That's cool. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. I think we'll um, set up this one. I'll do one more. I'd more to teach you about transfiguration, if you have a moment. Okay, 
Okay, we got that set up. Now let's talk to her. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Okay, how much do you need to gather? Oh. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. I guess Good. I have enough. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration oh, yeah, can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. Conjure wall decorations. Conjure floor decorations. Okay. Okay, I think that's what this is. Wall hanging. Okay, um, how about we put like a mirror up? Sure, how about right there? Okay. How many do you have to do? Okay, five. Um, how about we do... They're a little odd, but perfect. There you go. And then... We do another mirror. So it stays relatively consistent. There you go, and then, um... There you go. Okay. Now... Floor decorations. Okay. Okay. go like okay um. This could go like here. Okay, how many more do I need? One more. Sure. Shall we move on? Okay. Okay. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You okay. can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the...
customize it. Okay. So Okay. How do you... What says change? Can't change that. Can't change that. Okay. It says to change the size of an item. Oops. No, I'm trying to. Okay. How do you? Whoa. Ready for something a little more advanced. You okay. can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Okay. Oh. Deep's no herbology professor, but some plants here seem to be ready to harvest. Okay. Oh, does it want me to do something else? Weasley? Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Mm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Bigger space. How 
did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Okay. Wonderful. Um. Now, how do I leave? Because I want to actually go to Okay. Now. Just want to quick change what yeah. Surprised I still can't use those. All right. Anywho. Thanks uh, to everybody who is watching um, our stream. We just hit 30,000 subscribers so recently, and so we just want to say thank you to everybody. Of course. We appreciate everybody who supports us. But I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's but yeah, what I was saying. Passage just here. <laughs> Every time I start guys. talking, he starts talking. But yes, thank you guys. Um, we appreciate all your support. Um, it really does make a difference. We love doing this. We love streaming and sharing this time with you guys, so. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Revelio. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. 
I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like ominous. He frowns upon you using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their use. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. Whoop. Or do I have to keep going? Ah. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Oopsies. Oh. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian. Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ramrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Mm. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. 
You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. I just want to see what else is down here that I can grab here. Um, there's one here. Or it won't let me grab them now, huh? Okay, it's just a robe. Is there anything else? Rebellion. Isn't there one other spot? Oh, right here. Okay. What was that? Huh. Interesting. I'm just trying to see something. Because it says... Hold R2. I should have at least one other spell set that I can add. Rebellion. I can. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. So that does change things. Um, let's see. Let's do that one and then Um, what else can I do here on this first one? Um, I feel like that might be good. And then we can add that one. Let's 
feel like that should be it. set me up for a while then. Cool. Revenia. Well, and then I wonder if I can add, like, ah, nice. So then I even have a third one for all those other random spells that I can do. Awesome. Because that will honestly help a lot. A lot. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah. Well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passage. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian <laughs> gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Okay. <laughs> Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Settle down. <laughs> Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, inventory. I want to see something.
that's where I was. Uh, we looked at that. Room of requirement. Visibility potion. Okay. Hmm. I'll use this one. Now, what I would it? like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Um, let's go to Hogsmeade quickly to solve some things. Um, and then maybe I'll get that focus potion there. We'll have to see how much it does. Um, and then honey dukes. Okay, here we go. Not a day goes by. Well, hello there. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Okay. And I expect then... you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Let's go find a potions. Um, not all of Anders. Ah, here we go. Where are we gonna go? Actually, I think we can. Can we fast travel there? We sure can. Okay. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here. Should you be Let's grab this cup. Okay. What can I do for you today? Focus potion, right? Sorry, I can't remember. I to see you again. Farewell for now. Focus potion, Maxima, and a Duras. I feel like I might have one of those, actually. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. some potions, but... Hmm. 
No, I do not. So yeah. Great, and I don't think it'll be under gear or anything weird like that. Okay. Do for you today. Okay. A wise decision. Thank you. Okay. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay, it says acquire and use a focus potion. So let's go ahead and Use a focus potion, um... Oh, I did have an Endurance potion. Okay, that's right. This is the one I want. There we go. Okay. What do I have to do? You can advance time by access. Oh, I see. We're here to advance from night or day. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, Alex, we're just not, we're just not going to talk about politics. Um, this is strictly a gaming channel, um, so... How are your assignments coming along? Um, let's just avoid that altogether, thanks. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the hall.
Now the pulso. Was that down here? I just missed it, maybe. Huh. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, I think that's what this is. I gotcha. Okay. Well, I don't really find a lot of these things useful for most of the time, so I'm going to go ahead and put these, change these out. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell card. Okay. Cool. Now, what's the next one I have to do? Okay, now it's time to report to Professor Fig. Locate. Awesome. This is the closest one to his office. Anytime you report to Professor Fig, you never know what's going to happen. So, let's go ahead. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, well, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt. You met the Headless Hunt? That must have been interesting to say that. Yes, and then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkin so that he'd tell me how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not. It's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Let's go. Yes. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Lovely to see you both. To think it was beneath us all this time.
Well, this looks promising. Well. Here to see this. Oh. How come I can't? Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful 
And do not tell anyone where you're going. Okay. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Looks like this is as close we can get to where he wants to go. Um, let's just look at the quest before we... Okay, um, I think we should be fine. Let's go to this... The nearest point, and then we'll head over there. The freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Get lots of assignments. This looks intriguing. until I get out of range of those guys. Are those like gators or something? Dog bog. They sure look big. Whatever they are. I think we're just gonna creep past them. Ooh, we're in the Forbidden Forest. How oh, interesting. Oh, that's right, I forgot. You can sprint now when you're in. I don't know if sprinting, though, makes it more likely for you to get found. That's below the bridge or on the bridge. Seen better days. I think it's probably below the bridge, but. Ooh, something just growled. Nope. 
Now I should be able to spawn here as opposed to having to hike all that way up. Over here. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And... I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a car at Christmas. I was only young, like. We're not like I'd fall out now. Quickly now. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. Ah. I don't know how to do that though. Here, hold on. It says sneak up on detection and impress. Okay. Well done. Okay. If only I could get my hands on. Okay. Oh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. These two are more separated. Whiskey over here. You have to learn to share. Okay. Now the last two. Obliterated. Easy enough. Okay. else to collect here. Pavilia. Okay. <laughs> 
Hi, Dad. Thanks for uh, watching. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. All right, I don't think I missed anything today. Waters directly from Ranrock. Okay. have always been antagonistic towards wizard kind, but this is different somehow. Okay. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Best head inside. Okay. Looks like we found the entrance. I was kind of wondering what was going to happen there because it was not... It's locked. Um, I'm here. Okay, here we go. An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Yeah, an unlocking charm would be great. I need that bad. Someone was an avid reader. Can't say I'm familiar with many of these titles. I wonder who this is. With robes like that, it could be anyone. Okay, let's keep searching here. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Ooh. What's that? So many coins just lying around here. All right. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. Hmm. We're going okay. to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. 
I'll see you back in the map chamber. No. The reservoir of ancient magic. Downstairs, near the entry. Okay. Oh, teacup. There we go. Oh. It's the first trial. Down we go. I've seen this before, in Gringotts and the Restricted Section. Such like a fancier place than where we just came from. Imagine I'll have to fight some of those like, um, where does this go? up um there we go whoa whoa I felt like it was gonna suddenly just like propel me off oh yeah that's what I was gonna say I feel like I'm gonna have, definitely have to fight those knights I'm just waiting for them to like wake up here. More traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Where do I go here? Revelio. Do I have to go back through? No. I know what to expect this time. Gotcha. All right. I suppose let's look around. What was that sound? These look familiar. Okay. Um. Okay. 
go through. Okay. Um, are we going back through? That we're supposed to go. Okay, I don't know. Seems like we gotta... This metal part was not gone before. Okay. What the fuck that is not to Perhaps I should examine things from both sides of the archway. on one side, but when I pass through the archway, it's blocked by a wall. Anything down here? Let's go back here and see what... Okay.
supposed to if I just More statues. go around. Whoa. Time to move. Whoa. Figuring out, but we got it. Okay. Now, how do I get up, or do I just jump? Oh no, I see, there's stairs. I was way overthinking that. Okay, let's go up here. Where does that want me to? Oh, I see. this archway from both sides. Oh, I see. Do I have to somehow get around? of magic change on both sides of the archway. Something must be different. Ah. Okay. But then how do I get up? Is there still stairs? Okay, perfect. I need to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the There's anything over there that yeah, I can't even pull myself over. Okay. I'll never get used to these floors. 
No, me either. Keep thinking it's gonna like somehow collapse. Okay. Gotcha. Need all that magic. There you go. Okay. Um, where do I gotta go here? Revenia. Don't miss steps. Is there anything else I need to get here? No. Okay. And this is where I gotta go. Or did I need to? Ooh, I don't know if I was supposed to jump off that. Luckily I can step up onto it. Okay. Stop. Ooh. This is a tough one because you gotta get a dress. Whoa, no! Okay, we're gonna try that again. I hopped off again. Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Okay. So redo this a little bit.
Okay. Should I be suspicious that they're giving me a bunch of health potions? Five wigan weld potions. What are you guys gonna do? <sighs> I don't like this. Yeah, that's what I thought. There we go. Woo! That wasn't too bad. Oh! I spoke too soon! Run, 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 run! Ah! Help! Okay, I was able to successfully dodge that one.
Gotcha! Yeah. Whew! That was a big boss. What a relief. <laughs> oh, what a relief it is. <laughs> I like just saying that jingle. Alright. Whoa. Look at that. Another pensive. I feel like with the floor moving the way it is, it like just makes me feel like I'm moving right now, even though the floor's not moving. You know what I mean? Rebellion. Anything else I can grab before I just look in the pensive? Okay. I thought it was pensive, but it's pensive. Oh, that's cool. Drops a tear in. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago, but the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of defense against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. Okay. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. What have we here? I am a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive, in Gringos, with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. 
I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood, do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps, but we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Alright, guys. I think we're gonna cap it there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys' support. Um, have a great rest of your weekend.